Welcome back to Under the Lights, North Carolina football. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah, we, we start the, uh, the staff meeting the same way you do in elementary school. You know, you stand up and you uh, put your hand over your heart and you look at the uh, flag and, and you say the Pledge of Allegiance. Kindergarten comes on last night. <laughs> <laughs> Made you feel good, didn't it? Why do we stop doing that after elementary school? You know, uh, I mean, wouldn't we be a better country if we said the pledge every morning and that's the way we started our day? And so we start our, we start our staff meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. When we go out, we'll have a five-minute teams, we'll have a run-through, 14 reps of blitz, 16 reps of seven-on, come back, do the red zone scores on seven-on, and then that's it. Go finish, finish! Nice job, nice job, 2-6! I've got coaches that are very passionate about the game of football, and that's very important to me because I'm passionate about the game. Go, 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 go! Tempo, let's go! They all understand how we expect to practice, how we expect to play. I'm going to tell them, get after it now. Ain't got, to, ain't got a whole lot of time today, right? Get after it. We want to create a practice tempo that, that allows for things to actually slow down on game day. You practice with a lot of pressure on them and a lot of speed, and on Saturdays, I think things slow down for them. They're able to process a little quicker, and uh, they just feel more comfortable. Come on, great tempo now, great tempo. Left turn, right clear. You got it? If you come out and you watch a practice, you're gonna see that intensity. You're gonna see that passion level. We're not anywhere close to where we wanna be right now, but I think our players now have an understanding of what the coaches expect. All right, get them jumping, here we go! My name's Jabari Press, I let the team down two times. Stop the thing, here we go. Yeah, that's, a, that's called our Tar Heel Circle. We grade every aspect of a, of a game or a scrimmage, and one of the things obviously grade is effort. If he doesn't play with the energy level that we want on that play, then he, he gets a loaf. And then on the day after, we get to go out and remind the team that, you know, it's important to give effort. So we circle up, and guys run out there and, you know, uh, make amends, so to speak. Dad, go Tech, do it! Accountability is something that's talked about every day, whether it be effort, whether it be uh, execution, whether it, whatever it be, class, it, it's something, accountability has got to be huge. If you're going to be a championship football team, we're only going to get out of them uh, their best effort when they know and they trust down deep in their soul that you have their best interests at heart. You can almost tell from the time they take the field, you know what kind of day we're going to have. Is this a day I'm going to have to be right in the middle of them, or is this a day they're going to kind of take me along for the ride? And, and you'll. Once you get to know your kids, in the first five minutes of practice, you know, what, what am I dealing with? Let's go, perimeter! Perimeter, let's hit it! Going that way, I want a ball, all right? And I want uh, two, two of the dummies laying out, representing the offensive line. Now, nobody, nobody knows this. None of the coaches, nobody. Okay. I'm gonna call them all up, just stop the practice in the middle of it and bring them all up. Okay. We'll have one play. About midway through what was typically our individual period, uh, whistle blows. Everybody up right here, let's go! Hurry up! Everybody up! Coach Fedora's got some bags set up, a drill set up without, without letting anybody know. Defense on that side, offense over here. Yeah, Coach does that occasionally. You never know when. He'll just throw it on you and he'll create a situation and he'll pick a kid and throw him out there and you know, you just kind of hold on hoping the kid will make a play. Hurst, come here! Left tackle, give me a running back. Right here, Blue, you're over here on this side. Coach, give me a linebacker for a, a rusher. At some point in time, you're going to be called on to make a play, and you're not going to know when that time is and how will guys respond. In every single game, it comes down to one play, that somebody's got to make a play to win a damn game. Somebody's got to make one play. I think his thought process was, I want to create some excitement. I want to create some competition and, and some accountability of finding out who will step up. It's fourth and six. You either get the first down or you don't. All right, it's a throw. You're coming off the edge, you go get the quarterback, you go get the quarterback. And he put a little reward on the line. We, we had a lot of, uh, we had a lot of loaves on both sides of the ball in the scrimmage. This is to take 20 loaves off your Tar Heel circle, whoever wins the drill. Let's go. Our kids enjoy, they want to be put on, uh, under the spotlight and they want an opportunity to make that play. So I think it's a cool thing, I like it. There you go, hey, there you go. Oh. The hottest fire creates a sharper steel and if we don't uh, if we don't stress them and put them in situations that, that 
where they have got to maximize every ounce they've got, we'll really never know where they can go. It was good to see guys on both sides of the ball step up and compete, and, and, and it kind of it kind of re-energized practice, kind of pushed us in the second half, half of practice with some energy, which is, that's kind of his deal. Find another way to reach these guys, change the monotony, because practice itself is not a lot of fun because it's the same regimen every day. You know, I think the game's supposed to be played full speed, uh, you know, guys flying around, I mean, knocking helmets off, having fun. You know, that's, that's the game of football. And so our coaches coach like that. And I think if your coaches coach like that, then the team will take on that same personality. And that's the way we want them to be. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, that was a great day today. We got a lot of good out of today now, I'm telling you. You guys came out here, you got good energy, you had some enthusiasm, and you competed. That's what we said we had to do.